People think of the computer as your slave, it just does what you say, but that wouldn't be, you know, there's no surprise. How can you make something that never gets boring? And, um, and the answer is, is life. Life is the thing which always does something different. So the question is, how can you reproduce the essence of life in digital form? And, and that's what the electric sheep is, is an attempt to create uh, an artificial life form. It's not based on like a couple of parameters, but it's based on a, a language. And it's a genetic language, and it, so it, it evolves, and you can say things with it. And so what that means is that it, it doesn't have one look. It has a, a, a million different looks, and the, the images uh, emerge out of this complex process. And you can open up the sheep genetic code and manipulate it and design your own sheep and then post it back to the server and sort of enters the gene pool. And the images that you do like mate with each other and reproduce and so it evolves. A lot of people are worried about computers taking over but you know, what I'm trying to make is something where uh, man and machine you know, work together to create something that's you know, beyond either one of us. And I think our future isn't really necessarily uh, one or the other, but where we combine into you know, this android uh, entity, this you know, worldwide cyborg mind. But I, so I want to show people that you know, computers can be that soft and, and beautiful and can have that, you know, that spark of life. And it's something that we should you know, accept rather than fear. Get me to have more interesting dreams in the future.